The INR test is the good and the bad part of being on warfarin. It's a readily available test that allows us to work out how anticoagulated you are, or in you know, street terms, how thin your blood is, whether it's in the sweet spot that we need to be both safe and effective. So the INR test, the International Normalised Ratio, is a blood test that your GP will order for you, and you'll probably have the capacity to go and present yourself to the pathologist as well at certain times of your own choosing as well to have the test done. By the time you're stable, you'll be getting those tests fortnightly or even monthly. And the aim is to keep the INR level between two and three. I personally and others like a specific target of 2.5. Uh, we find and think that that's the safest idea. But you only need to be between two and three seventy percent of the time. And if you're between two and three seventy percent of the time, then you realise the benefits of the drug. That is over 60% reduction in fatal and disabling stroke, as well as a 30% reduction in mortality. The good thing about this is that if anything changes, if you've got diarrhoea or you've got vomiting, if you're on a new antibiotic or new treatment, we can use that blood test to make sure that your dose is still the right dose. And that's actually not possible with some agents. So it's the disadvantage, it's the inconvenience of the medication, but it's one of the things that actually makes it safer. <coughs> and it makes it safer, particularly in patients who are on multiple medications and who are a bit prone to illnesses. Uh, so we would recommend warfarin particularly for someone who has more complex medical needs.